Every day across Australia, around 700 young people are incarcerated in the juvenile justice system. With state governments increasingly imposing tougher bail requirements for young offenders, the numbers are on the rise, and so too is the cost. At around $100,000 a year per person, juvenile justice is becoming an expensive problem. But as Sharon O'Neill reports, there is one early intervention program that shows how the problem might be solved for a fraction of the price. Rudy Sameo is visiting his old high school, a changed man. My attitude has changed a lot, just towards people, and I've also learned just being patient, also just going for my goals. This former student is here to watch a newly formed music group at James Meehan High at Macquarie Fields in the southwest of Sydney. He's also here to offer some words of advice. And make sure you don't let that pressure of being a Pacific Islander, like, don't let that stereotype bring you guys down. But a few years ago, Rudy Samio was very much that stereotype. We got into a lot of fights and um, just stealing stuff. Yeah, just a lot of bad stuff we used to get up to. But at that time, we thought it was fun. Like many of his peers in the southwest of Sydney, Rudy Samio was caught up in the Macquarie Fields riot in 2005. Back then, he was often in trouble and at risk of becoming part of the juvenile justice system. Just like every other teenager, I guess, getting into fights and having alcohol in your system doesn't mix at all. A school in Sydney's west was locked down today to stop a fight between rival gangs of students. In 2006, following a dispute between students from two high schools in the Campbelltown area, local police referred Rudy Samio to a pilot program designed to keep young Australians from a Pacific Island background out of trouble. Uh, and we met him uh, as a result of police wanting uh, Rudy to benefit from some form of work with us. The program, called Pacifica, was developed by Mission Australia out of concern at the increasing numbers of young Pacific Islanders ending up in juvenile justice. Georgie Ravulo is the program's coordinator. It's one thing to recognise that someone has issues with the law, but it's another thing to scratch further and look at the actual reasons as to why they have all these behaviours and why those behaviours were developed in the first place and how those behaviours can be challenged and potentially changed so that they can move them on to positive pathways. I've also learned just being patient, being patient and striving, striving to get where I want to be or where I want to get to. I mean, I'm still not there, but I'm, I'm still working at it. Oh, I was pretty violent, like... Even my crowd was, like, they were scared of me too. Um, how violent would I get? I'll get really violent, like, make sure... I wouldn't stop until I know that the person's, like, really hurt. Like, badly hurt. So, with that activity, uh, you've listed... Los Avale was also referred to Pacifica by the local police. She was skipping school to spend her days drinking at friends' houses. What do you think could have happened to you had you not become involved with Pacifica? I reckon I'll be behind bars. So what I want you to Danny. do... Yeah, down there. I the Pacifica program is working with Los Avale and her family, dealing with her problems with alcohol and aggression. She's now back studying and has set a somewhat surprising goal for her future. Looking forward to going into Goulburn, the police academy. Do you think you'll make a good police officer? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Oh, I oh, know, I just reckon I'll make a good one. This program works with the whole needs of a young person to start with. So we focus on whatever their range of issues are, whether it's around education, whether it's around their family relationships, whether it's around their drug and alcohol use, their health and wellbeing, their self-esteem. So it's very integrated and it's very holistic. And the alcohol tends to be more likely in a social context. Anne Hampshire is the head of Mission Australia's Research and Social Policy Unit. 
She says the Pacifica program is a proven way of keeping young people out of prison. 65% of the young people who've been involved in our program haven't re-offended 12 months after their involvement in the program. That's an incredibly impressive statistic, particularly when we compare it with incarceration, which we know has got way, way higher rates of re-offending. We also know that this is a cost-effective response, $2,500 per young person compared to well over $100,000 per young person incarcerated. It really just makes good sense. It also makes good sense to the New South Wales Police. I think it's been a good model for us to look at and we can adapt that and, uh, and I think we can expand that further um, and uh, uh, bring that type of uh, approach out across the state to wider communities. At James Meehan High School, these students are happy to be part of this group organised by the Pacifica program. It's providing an after-school activity that's helping to develop their talents and keeping them out of trouble. I never thought that, uh, um, that I would be able to come back to James Meehan High School, but I feel like I've kind of redeemed myself by coming here and, and talking to the kids and encouraging them encouraging them to, to stay in school and, and um, go, for their, go for their goals. Thank you very much. Now the postscript. Despite the success of Pacifica, the New South Wales Government has decided not to continue funding the program in the new financial year. Sharon O'Neill with that report.